CTF-56 is being tasked quite a bit right now and there are a lot of moving parts. With EOD's role in underwater force protection increasing, um, being able to fill hot gaps in the MCM mission is where the Ibra-3 comes in. The Ibra-3 UUV, it flies a predetermined path and what it does is it maps the bottom of the ocean using sonar. We can then take those images after it's done its mission and we can determine if there's anything that needs to be looked at or if there are any further concerns for objects that are found down there and uh, determine if they're threats. So the Ibra-3 can operate up to 14 hours at 2.5 knots at a depth of 300 feet. And that's important to EOD techs because 300 feet is the depth at which we can operate. If we have to deploy a diver on a mark, we're able to do that safely. Right now, EOD is trying to take the human aspect as far away from the hazard as possible. And the IVER system allows us to do that. Um, we're trying to use more robotic systems uh, as one of the ways of keeping people from having to be in that dangerous area or potentially dangerous area. Uh, specifically with the IVER 3, it's one of the few systems that we have that is able to be used underwater. If an MCM team is forward deployed, and we need to fill in those gaps, we can then take those shore units and teach them how to use the IBRA so that they can have that limited MCM capability. It only takes two people to splash the system. That greatly reduces our logistical footprint while increasing our capabilities dramatically. I'm EOD2 Ryan Behar out of Mobile Unit 11, currently deployed to Bahrain, CTG 56.1.